Welcome back to Template Acres. I got little kids running around here doing something. Um, so tonight I want to go through, since I'm doing this anyway, hemming. Uh, a lot of people don't hem when something gets a rip or a tear or a hole into the garbage it goes and they get something new. So my son loves footy jammies. Absolutely loves footy jammies. And he tore the seam out on his footy jammies. So you can see like right in the crash area. So tonight he brought them down and he wants me to fix them. So I'm going to go through the process of how I fix um, hems. Seams. That's the right word. Um, so if you can see it, it literally just came off of the seam right here. Um, and there are a few things you need. You can probably make do with different, but this is what I have. So I have pins. I have a needle. I have thread. And I have scissors. And that's really all you need. Um, some people really love thimbles. I have a beautiful old thimble that was my mom's. Um, but I am not coordinated enough to use them. And I usually end up getting my finger anyway. All right, first thing I'm gonna do is take my pins and then I am going to pin this in place. All right. When I'm measuring out length, my only guide is to make sure not to go longer than my arms. Otherwise, it is a pain to try to pull it all the way through. And I have short arms, so I just use my arms to measure and I don't go any longer and if I end up needing longer I'll just get some more thread there. I know there's supposedly tricks to threading a needle but I still have good eyesight so I'll do it the old-fashioned way for now. If you have never done any sewing you can either do it single or double I have boys that are going to be rough with this, so I'm going to double up my thread right away, match up the ends, and I'm going to put three knots in it. How many knots you want to put in really depends on how big of a needle you are using. The bigger the needle, the more knots. There are other ways of doing it to catch that first stitch, um, but this is just an easy, simple way that I like to thread my needle for doing some hemming. Next thing is I want to get this in place to exactly where I want it to be. So take my safety pins and it doesn't really matter which direction. I just want to make sure I'm going the same direction so that it makes it easier to pull it out. Just gonna put pins the whole way along to hold this in place to where I want it to be when I stitch it up. Now, if you were doing repair of a tear or a rip, this would be a little bit of a different process. But since this is simply a seam that popped, it's fairly straightforward. And I noticed after I did this that there's a little bit of a ripple. Um, so I'm gonna make sure that the extra fabric is gathered right here in this section. And again, depending on what you are actually sewing, it's going to change. Alright, so now I have everything pinned back in place where I want it. And for this kind of repair, I want to do what's a back stitch hem, which is pretty straightforward. Um, you're going to want to start where it's still good. 
So about right here is where the seam is still good. So I want to start there. And with the back stitch hem, you're going to go forward, pull it all the way through. And of course I don't have it quite even. There we go. That's why I said don't go longer than your arms or it makes it a pain. And then I go back. So you come back to where you came out and then you go again. And I'm going to continue same process the whole way. And so I work normally against, I guess against the pin, um, so that the pointy side is towards me. Um, then I don't have to go over the head. And then when I get about halfway, stitched halfway through where the pin is, then I will pull that pin out and continue working down this seam. up here so again just like at the beginning I want to make sure I go past into the area where the seam was still good so that there isn't any potential area for that to start unraveling again so this is kids clothes they are going to use it they're going to abuse it they're gonna wear they're gonna wear it and wear it out um, so about here is where the seam was still good so I'm going to keep doing a few more stitches and then I'm going to show you how I finish it off to keep it from pulling through. Alright, this is going to be my last stitch. Alright, when I'm going to finish it off, I go through and up just like I was doing a stitch and then when it's coming to the end I pull through like a knot. And I do that again. And when that loop gets pretty close to being done, I go through just like I was tying a knot to finish it off. All right, then I go underneath, not through the fabric, just underneath where I pulled it tight. And I'm gonna do the same thing one last time. Sometimes your strings get off, that happens. I just try to straighten them out. That's it. Clip it. And now I have a not beautiful but fully functional repaired set of pajamas for my son to wear. What like I said, this took me about 15 minutes to do this easy repair. If I were to just rebuy this, it would have been $20. So definitely worth my time just to fix the clothes. Hopefully that helps you if you have some kids clothes you want to do a quick repair on.